Hey book club, Dan here from One Man Book Club. A while back I told you about a really fun series uh, that kicked off with a book called Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. Um, this is book two in that series. Finally got around to reading it. Uh, I was saving it for Halloween or October because it's spooky. Um, so this is Dead Voices. It's book two of the Small Spaces series. I, just, I read it and I was like, oh my gosh, if this is middle grade, why was I so freaked out? You might know Catherine Arden best, like me, from the Winter Night trilogy series, which is this fantastical historical fantasy series set in long ago Russia. It is an amazing, amazing, wonderful story full of really, really great characters, connections to myths and, and, and old Russian traditions. And while it's not specifically a scare story, there are legit moments throughout when you probably won't want to be reading alone in the dark. Just that little intro to say, Catherine Arden knows how to be creepy. And the real proof is in this really fun middle grade series. Like I said, that begin back in 2018 with Small Spaces. It continued with Dead Voices. This is Dead Voices. Uh, it was written in 2019. Dark Waters, book three, was written in 2021. And there's going to be a fourth book without a current release date, but hopefully it will be out soon. In the spirit of R.L. Stein, these books are intentionally purposefully, skillfully, and truly spooky. I was impressed with small spaces. Dead voices freaked me out. I was surprised by the creepiness of small spaces. In, in that first book, our hero's sixth grade class was on a fall time field trip to a farm to enjoy a corn maze only to discover that the farm is cursed and the terrible rotter called the Smiling Man is pulling all the strings. And I, after that book, I'm never gonna look at scarecrows the same way again. In Dead Voices, it's now winter time. And our heroes, who are by now scarred veterans of scary things, are traveling together to a mountain lodge to enjoy some skiing. And of course, they find out too late that the lodge used to be a freaky orphanage where bad things happened, and now is this haunted ski lodge. Dead Voices was a super scary ghost story, and I loved it. Aside from the spookiness, there's no content concerns. Dead Voices is a perfect read for brave 12 year olds and up. Um, and that's it. I'm going to go off and read Dark Waters now. Happy reading, everyone.